Today, we're going to go over the installation of the Ride Right Air Helper Springs for the 2011 to 2016 Ford Super Duty. Check riderite.com to ensure a correct fit for your vehicle. First, unpack the items from the box and make sure you have all the necessary parts and hardware to tackle the install. With everything checked for, go ahead and undo the negative battery terminal. Next, raise the vehicle. If you're working from home, use a floor jack and jack stands on the rear axle. Taking off your truck's rear wheels will make this installation a lot easier, and you'll have greater access to your truck's undercarriage. Look for the bump stop and take it out. This is where the air spring will eventually go. Nearby, you'll find the urea tank bracket on diesel-equipped Super Duties. Go ahead and remove the bolt and clip. The upper bracket aligns with the urea tank bracket and, if necessary, has several spacers to use. Use whichever combination that's right for your truck. Just be sure that before fastening, there are no wires or hoses that will get pinched between the bracket and frame. Next, take an air fitting and install it into the air combo stud. Then install the air combo stud next to the alignment pin. Then line up the alignment pin with the front alignment hole of the upper bracket. Ensure that the pin seats in the hole correctly, then install the air spring. Fasten the air spring to the bracket with a tooth lock washer and hex nut. Then, finish it off with the air fitting, ensuring the thread lock coating is fully engaged. Roughly half of the thread lock should be covered. Now, let's tackle the lower bracket. First, situate the air spring how it needs to be on the lower bracket, then screw in the flathead bolt tightly and make alignment marks. Next, place the saddle bracket onto the axle. Following this, merge the lower bracket and saddle bracket together. Both should be as close as possible to the leaf pack, as well as the bump stop landing. Refer to the instructions for guidance on how it should appear on a two-wheel drive versus four-wheel drive Super Duty. With that done, go ahead and fasten the bracket halves together with nuts and bolts. Finish installing this air spring using the bail clamp, axle strap bracket, and carriage bolts. Before you finish tightening down the air spring, go ahead and use your hand to check the air spring's clearance. Also, make sure to check the height and alignment. Now, go repeat these last steps on the passenger side using a frame nut this time and tying up the parking brake line. This is also where the heat shield is placed on top of the air spring. Aim it where the closest source of heat is and proceed with installing the rest of the air spring. Now that your air springs are good to go, let's shift to the inflation valves. Go ahead and assemble the inflation valves as shown in the instruction manual. Next, take the airline tubing and make a square cut in the middle of it. Route the airline tubing from the spring to the valve. Make sure when you're installing the line, you push it in as far as it'll go. As you do this, look for areas that get hot and slip on the supplied thermal shields in the areas you need it. Once the lines are installed, grab an air hose and fill up both springs to 70 PSI. Use some soapy water on the ends of the airline tubing. If you see any bubbles forming, this indicates there's a leak. Reference your installation manual for troubleshooting if there is a leak. If no leaks are present, you're all done. Make sure your air springs are evenly filled and always have at least 5 PSI before driving your truck. At this time, we'd like to point out that the air springs can support the weight of the axles pulling on the springs. You'll never have to worry about lifting your truck on a hoist. For any questions or concerns, feel free to reach out to Firestone by phone or online. If you have any questions, check out riderite.com for more information. Firestone RideRite. Comfort, confidence, and control.